Banks are subject to a, a number of capital requirements, uh, including leverage requirements. Leverage requirements basically are the ratio of capital to assets with no adjustment for risks. Included among those assets are the loans that banks have made to the Fed, what are called reserve balances. So when those reserve balances go up, their leverage requirements go down, and banks have to come up with more capital. But they don't, those, but reserve, requirement, reserve balances are riskless, and they earn very low interest. So it's hard for, so it's not profitable for banks to fund them with capital. Once that capital requirement became binding uh, on banks, uh, the, the, the Fed start, it, the banks were much, much less willing to, to lend to the Fed at those rates. Uh, interest rates were as a result falling, and, and that resulted in the money funds stepping in, which are not subject to those capital requirements, and, and providing the loans necessary to the Fed to continue its growth. Now another big lender to the Fed is the, is the Treasury Department, because they also have a deposit at the Fed, another source of funding. Now during the uh, COVID crisis, the, the Treasury's deposit at the Fed expanded to about one and a half trillion dollars, uh, in part because the Treasury wanted to accumulate the money necessary in order to make the big fiscal expenditures that they provided. Uh, when, that, when those numbers returned back down to their more normal level of re in recent years of three to five, 300 to 500 billion, uh, the, the need for additional funding uh, ended up working its way through the overnight RFP facility. And when that number dropped to near zero uh, because of the debt ceiling uh, crisis that we just recently skirted, uh, even more funding was needed by the Fed from money funds through the overnight RP facility.